to Joseph Parsons. The CD is called Empire Bridges, and uh, the website is josephparsons.com. And he, he is on tour in, in Scotland at the moment. Uh, if anybody knows a, a, a radio station in Scotland that wants to reuse our interview, get, get in touch the uh, Wild Show Facebook page or WENOTNO on Twitter. And the, maybe we can borrow some stuff from them because we're, we're hoping he'll come back next year. So we need, need to build up a bit of, bit of background material. And that, is, that sort of takes us on to what I think is Open Educational Resources OER, which I've asked JD to have a look at. Um, I, don't, I don't know how much sense this is going to make, but there is a, there is a, a conference in Scotland, OE, OER Conf, as they are on uh, on Twitter, big O, big E, big R, and then Conf. Uh, it's, it's a conference about reuse of educational stuff. Um, I'll, what, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play a, a radio clip because um, this is Creative Commons, and um, talk, talk to J, talk to JD after, after this. Hi, I'm really, really excited about this one. Radio Edge Talk will be at OER 16. OER 16 is the seventh Open Educational Resources Conference on open culture. It will be held in Edinburgh, the University of Edinburgh, on the 19th and 20th of April. 2016. You can find out lots more about OER16 at oer16.oerconf.org. In practice, I found oerconf.org does the trick. The focus of the, the, the conference is in the title, Open Culture, and it will have sort of several main themes. Here they are. The strategic advantage of open and creating a culture of openness. Converging and competing cultures of open knowledge, open source, open content, open practice, open data and open access. Hacking and making and sharing. The reputational challenges of open washing. Openness and public, public engagement and innovative approaches to opening up cultural heritage collections for education. So there's going to be a whole lot of open going on. They've got a, a wonderful lineup of keynote speakers. Jim Groom, Catherine Cronin, Emma Smith, John Scally and Melissa Hyten. The, as well as the keynotes that these people will be given, there will be several sort of themed strands um, covering the themes of the conference and these are innovative approaches to opening up cultural heritage collections for education, hacking and making and sharing, strategic and reputational advantages of openness, converging or diverging cultures of openness, there will be sessions for lightning talks and community sessions. The programme is, is beginning to get put together on the, the, the oerconf.org site. I'm not completely sure what we'll be broadcasting during the conference over the two days, but I hope it might include conferences between various speakers and attendees. We may also be able to broadcast the keynotes. But for an open conference, what is really more exciting is anybody can contribute to the OER16 stream on edutalk.cc. All you need to do is record some audio. So this could be reflections in any of the conference themes before, during or after the conference. Thoughts in a keynote or workshop. A conversation with a fellow attendee or a group of folk interested. Anything else you can think of OER16 related. There are a couple of ways you can send your audio to EduTalk. The way I'm doing this one, which is to record on the Audio Boom app, which is available on iOS or Android and you can also record or upload audio on the web and all you need to do is tag your boo or I think they're called booms now hash OER16 in this case the audio will be automatically pulled into the EduTalk site you also could email the audio to audio at edutalk.cc many mobile apps allow you to record and email audio 
these bits of audio will then be manually posted to the site so it's a bit slower than the audio boom uh, route. There'll be resources and more information about all of this on edutalk.cc. For historical reasons, audio posted on Edutalk is generally licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 2.5 UK Scotland licence. But we're proposing that the content tagged OER16 is published with a CC BY licence. Creative Commons Attribution 4 International. Uh, I think that suits the themes of the conference, but we're open to discussion with anybody that posts stuff. You can get in contact with me if you're interested in this thing at John Johnson on uh, Twitter or at edutalker, E-D-U-T-A-L-K-R on Twitter. Uh, you can leave a comment on the Edutalk CC site. We'll get in touch and go back and forward on any aspects of this that interests you if you want to contribute. I'm really looking forward to and hope this can help um, sort of slightly enhance the OER experience. We hope the stream will be useful to people who can't attend the conference um, to be able to listen to some of the, the speakers talking. Uh, I'm just uh, very excited for this. If you're going to OER 16, I hope to see you there. JD, it just seems to me what they're, what they're talking about with open educational resources is very similar to... Uh, the way we think about bits of MP3 putting a radio show together. Yes, that's 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 what we've understood mm -hmm. so far. What what else have you found found about it? I found um, right. Well, I've just I, as I said, I've just had the my broadband put back on oh. yesterday, so I've been doing a lot of work last night trying to catch up. Um, I don't know a lot about this actually because it's a university. <laughs> it's a bit far away from Devon, <laughs> just a wee bit. Well, yeah, but, but I'm sure there's, there's, there must be other people in Devon who know about it, you'd think. Is anyway. this, this is not the one with the radio station attached to, is it? Because you've given me a couple of them. Well, I've given you a couple. There's, there's, mm. there's, there's a radio station in, it, which seems to be based in Scotland, which right. is going to be, I think, present at the conference. Right. And they've got a very similar point of view. So they're using Creative Commons licences. Right. They're doing a lot of podcasts and clips, as well as... Right. Uh, Live broadcasts and they're encouraging. Right, but well, that would be interesting if, if, you've, if they can actually broadcast some of that, so we could actually hear what's really happening because it's it's quite difficult to get your brain around something which you're not there. That's the that's, thing. Yes, and that's the thing. But if they, if somebody wants to go to there's a web, you've got a website which you give me, which yes. is quite good. Yeah. Do you want that? Um, yeah, yeah. T mm. tell, tell us, tell us the so website. It's o e r sixteen. Yep. dot o e r conf c o n f dot org. Okay, and we'll put that on the on the. Do Facebook, we put that on the on the, on the Facebook page? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. No, that's that's good. And I think when the conference is this month, so we'll we'll try and find out a bit more and maybe find some more sound clips we can use on on future ones. Okay. Well, we'll 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 come back to that later.